Hi everyone, in this lesson we will add storing functionality to our to-do list application created in previous lessons. We will learn how to store complex data structures in local storage. For that we will work with React hook use effect, handling JSON and uh, local storage web API. First, let's take a look at our app deployed to GitHub pages in the previous lesson. I opened the app in my browser and now I'm going to add several tasks. And uh, when I refresh the page, the items are lost and we need the functionality to store them. But first, let's talk about use effect hook. What is use effect hook in React? The use effect hook is used to perform side effects in functional components. Side effects are operations that affect the outside world or require cleanup such as fetching data from an API, subscribing to events, manipulating the DOM, or setting up timers. Let's take a look at the syntax of use effect hook. I opened my Visual Studio code and have a project that we implemented in previous lessons. And uh, I'm going to add hook use effect. And uh, as you can see, it, uh, we need to provide effect callback. It will be a function. And uh, also we can provide Depth uh, dependency list array. And I'm going to add empty function as it will return something and I uh, will write code later and uh, also will provide dependency array. And uh, as you can see, import was added, import use effect from React. Let's talk about key concepts of use effect hook. By default, use effect runs after every render. The optional second argument to use effect is an array of dependencies. The effect will only rerun if one of the dependencies changes. If you pass empty array, the effect will only run once after the initial render. The function pass to use effect can return a cleanup function. We'll use local storage in our application. What is local storage in JavaScript? Local storage is a web API that allows you to store data in the browser persistently. Data stored in local storage doesn't expire and can be accessed even after the browser is closed and reopened. It's a simple key value store. Local storage allows you to store data in string format, but we have an array of objects and we need to use JSON. What is JSON? JSON is a data format. And we will use JSON stringify method to convert a JavaScript object or value to a string and a JSON parse to pass a JSON string constructing the JavaScript value or object described by the string. Uh, let's take a look at our code. We have uh, our added use effect, and uh, now I'm going to save to do's into local storage when they change. And uh, I'm going to provide function and uh, just add local storage. It's a global JavaScript object. And uh, I need set item. And uh, as you can see, I need to provide string key. It will be just to do. And uh, value. And uh, for value, I'm going to use JSON and uh, create string uh, by using stringify. It will be string for my to do array of objects and uh, i need to add dependency we are going to store to do's only when as a or changed okay and uh, let's take a look at uh, what we have in our application i'm going to open my developer tools and uh, go to application folder and select local storage and I'm going to refresh the page and uh, add several items. And uh, as you can see, uh, the to-dos were changed. And uh, inside uh, our local storage, we have three items. And uh, I can add more or change some value. And uh, let's, let's check. And uh, as you can see, completed state was changed. And uh, so I can remove one item. And uh, as you can see, we have uh, the exact uh, values uh, in our local storage. But when I refresh the page, my to-dos are gone and uh, I see only empty array in my local storage. And uh, let's fix it. 
and uh, let's try to understand what happens and uh, refreshing uh, provides initial value to empty uh, as empty array and uh, use effect uh, sees that to do so changed and uh, just put them uh, put empty array in my to do and uh, let's add one more use effect but uh, we'll run it only once and uh, i'm going to add empty array as dependency and uh, uh, this uh, use effect will display our to do's and uh, also block uh, the refreshing and uh, we need to store our to do's inside some variable start to do's and uh, i'm going to use our local storage object and get item and i need to provide on the key and the uh, key i have to do and uh, i need to check if we have stored to do's uh, then i will set uh, this to do's inside our state variable but uh, we need to use json parse uh, because we stored to do's as a json string and uh, we need to parse them to get our array of objects and uh, store to do's uh, but we have the problem with uh, the this initial state and uh, so it uh, stores uh, the empty array and uh, now i'm going to add uh, one more state variable to check uh, if uh, the to do's were loaded or not const loaded and function will be set to loaded and use state and uh, initially it will be false uh, and uh, after we run this use effect first time i'm going to set loaded to true and uh, show that we can use uh, store our to do's into local storage but uh, if uh, they this uh, hook was uh, not executed and uh, we have initial state i'm going just return from that use effect just check if not loaded then return and let's check what we have in the application i'm going to refresh page and provide several items okay i have please enter valid task and uh, also it shows me empty stream and now i'm going to fix it i just need to add return here to avoid such behavior and now i'm going to refresh it again remove refresh and add more items and uh, as you can see now the item empty item was not added and uh, let me refresh the page and uh, as you can see we have the same values as in, in our local storage and i can mark completed several items and refresh again okay and uh, i can remove some items and refresh again and it works and uh, now i can just push my changes and uh, deploy them to github and uh, as we did in previous lesson and i'm going to open new terminal and uh, run my npm run deploy command you can check my previous video to have understanding uh, how i deploy uh, my application and uh, now i'm going to open uh, my project on github and uh, take a look at the actions and uh, action was executed successfully and uh, i can open my project on github refresh page and to provide several tasks and to refresh again and uh, i can open developer tools and go to application and now i have uh, my github address and check what we have i can mark as completed and uh, as you can see completed uh, is true here and add more items like new task and now refresh the page and uh, everything is working and uh, that's all that i have for this lesson if you like the video subscribe to my the pep up channel thank you for watching goodbye